Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. be with you. Let us pray. God of truth and sacrifice, we give thanks for your servant William Alexander Gary, who, like the church's first martyr, gave witness to your liberating gospel and echoed Christ's healing words of forgiveness. May we also seek your truth as we offer ourselves in obedience to the same. All this we pray through him who is forever the bishop and reformer of our souls, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former de devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. The word of the Lord.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and whatever you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Community, service, and sacrament. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In community, and strengthened by the sacrament, we go out into the world to serve. This morning we are commissioning a wonderful group of young people and adults to meet others at Glory Ridge, to gather in community to serve those in need. If you're wondering who they are, they're, they're right over here uh, in green t-shirts. Now, this is an important event and day for all of us, for whether we are the ones who are sent out to serve, or whether we are the ones who send, who do the sending and participate in the sending of the group, we are all involved because we are a community of faith, sharing and bearing the burdens of one another, traveling along the road together as pilgrims, united in the sacrament of the altar bearing the light of Christ wherever we go. So this week, while you all are away from us, should you ever find yourself in the course of the day sad or glad or somewhere in between, remember that we are saying our prayers for you and giving thanks for you and the wonderful work that you're doing. This is a very important witness that you all have. And we're doing it because we are a community. And the community aspect of all this is so vital, isn't it? Bishop Gary, whose feast day we observe today, he said this, God seeks to save us, not as separated individuals, but as members of a family, a society, a kingdom of God, members of a community. It is not my faith and me, no. It is rather my faith with you, our faith, together. At the same time, I want to say that as valuable, if not more, than any work that you all will be doing, or any work that any of us may be doing at any given time, pay attention, pay close attention to your own particular p 
pilgrim journey. Pay attention to the insights, the thoughts that may come your way. Even pay attention to what you may consider to be nonsense entering your mind. During the day, or in the evening, as you all will gather to share, to reflect, to worship, pay attention to signs of growth and insight. And that goes for us all. Uh, certainly, I would not be here today in this pulpit if I had not had experiences like the experience that you all have had and are going to have. Sometimes we have to step away in order to see, and that's part of why y'all are heading straight up I-26 and beyond. The end of all our exploration, after all, is to arrive where we started and to know the place for the first time. We're not only united to our Lord Jesus, and one to another in this sacrament of Holy Communion, we're also strengthened by our Lord's own body and blood to do what? We hear it at the end of every service, to love and to serve. We become living sacraments, outward and visible signs of grace. And Bishop Gary said this about sacrament. Again, he's, you'll hear he references the whole business of community. He says, a sacrament is a social tie as well as a spiritual gift. The two are inseparable, he says. It is an abuse of a sacrament, he goes on to say, to make it an instrument of esoteric or individual pietism. Again, not my faith and me, but rather my faith and you, our faith, together. Our faith in community with one another. And you young people remind us that in the midst of, of a world of turmoil, in a world of upset and outrage, you remind us what the deep, deeper questions really are, that we are we are free and we are freed, not, not to suit our own needs, but to build up others, to love and to serve, not self, but one another. So may we each go forth, as you all are going forth in just a bit. It's why the deacon has on tennis shoes today. May we each go forth in community, in service, nourished, strengthened, and united by the sacrament in order to become sacraments, signs of grace, signs of grace to a world in need of grace. Amen. Well, I, not only does the deacon have tennis shoes on, but... Uh... He can show off his legs today as well. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'm grateful that this is only one Sunday every year. Um, first of all, just, just Glory Ridge. I'm just reflecting on Glory Ridge. How do we give glory to God? Well, we did just a while ago when we sang glory to God. We, we give glory to God in praise. But what you're going to be doing this week is giving glory to God as well. And it's, it's a powerful witness. So we wanted you at this service so that we could uh, let you know of our support, offer prayer over you, and send you off, which is a great tradition. I'm going to ask everyone to come up here from who's going on the trip as we prepare for this. That'll also give our uh, communications uh, director time to get, if, this is, if there's not a picture taken, it didn't happen. So... Um, we're going to get everybody up here, and fa let's face the congregation. And uh, first things first, we have to get a photograph. Then we know what happened. Smile. 
Glory Ridge. Perfect. Now stay right there, folks. Nick's going to lead us. Friends in Christ, we are all baptized by the one Spirit into one body and given gifts for a variety of ministries for the common good. Our purpose is to commission these persons in the name of God and of this congregation to a special ministry to which they are called. I present to you these persons to be ambassadors for Christ on behalf of Grace Church Cathedral. They have been preparing to go on a mission trip to the Appalachian Mountains, to grow in Christian community, and to serve the residents of Madison County in North Carolina. You have been called on behalf of your congregation to go out as witnesses to the risen Christ and to serve Christ in all persons and all places. Through Christ and with Christ, you will share in a ministry of reconciliation and encouragement to build up the body of Christ and to care for all. Will you faithfully and reverently carry out this ministry to the honor of God and the benefit of this community and all whom you serve? I will with God's help. Let us pray. Gracious God, your Son, before he ascended to glory, declared that your people would receive power from the Holy Spirit to bear witness to him to the ends of the earth. Be present with all who go forth in his name, protect them all the day long, and bring them safely home. In the name of God and of this congregation, I commission you as ambassadors and missionaries of Grace Church Cathedral. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to God. I commend you this work and pledge you our prayers, encouragement, and support. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless and keep you this day and always. Amen. What do we think of our group? We'll stand to pray. In thanksgiving for the witness of the saints and martyrs of the church, let us offer our prayers to God, saying, Lord, have mercy. For this holy gathering and for the people of God in every place, for Ruth, our bishop, for Michael, our presiding bishop, and for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, for the Church of the Messiah, Myrtle Beach, and the province of the Episcopal Church of Sudan, let us pray. For all nations and their leaders, for all peoples, tribes, clans, and families, let us pray. For mercy, peace, and justice in the world, for all who serve at home or overseas in the military or in mission or outreach work, for Maxwell, Drew, Legree, Kurt, Thomas, Ethan, Henry, Griffin, Peter, Dennis, Christian, Brian, Keen, Louisa, Edward, Justin, Andrew, and Jake, let us pray. For all those in danger, the poor and the oppressed, travelers and prisoners, that the example of the martyrs may give them courage and the help of believers give them hope, let us pray. For our youth and volunteers setting out this morning on their mission trip to Glory Ridge in North Carolina, that they may be surrounded and protected by your loving care, inspired in the work that they will do, and return home in joy. Let us pray. In thanksgiving for all the blessings of this life, for the birth of Sarah Olivia Nettles, let us pray. For ourselves, our families, and all those we love, for the sick, especially Beatrice, Dave, Michael, Pat, Holly, Rob, Rhett, Robert, Anne, Kenny, Parker, Phyllis, Brad, Neil, Betty, Bob, Bill, Drayton, Patricia, Anne, and Chris. Let us pray. For all the faithful departed and all who mourn, remembering Scott Bennett, Robert Wayne Smith, Anne Warren Rice Duvall, and the Reverend Dr. Sipo Mazimela, let us pray. 
with gratitude for the life and witness of William Alexander Gary, bishop, reformer, and martyr. Let us pray. Holy God, mighty God, immortal God, adored by martyrs and praised by the saints, receive the prayers of your holy church and grant them in accordance with your gracious will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace, peace, peace. Please be seated. We had a very, uh, we had a very special time this last week. Not this week we're sending our youth on their mission trip, but this last week a very successful vacation Bible school. Uh, new levels of decibels were recorded readings uh, in Hanahan Hall, um, and I think we have some really good potential future sopranos um, with some of the sounds we heard as well. But it was a great success. I want to thank everyone who contributed. So many of you volunteered, and that's why it was a success. I'm going to call upon our vestry member, Catherine Bailing, for youth and uh, children's ministries to come forward and uh, share a word about the VBS. My name is Catherine Bailing, and I'm the vestry liaison for children and youth ministries. This past week, close to 90 children got to attend a food truck party at Grace through VBS. They learned songs and dances, laughed with Chef Rob and DJ Cupcake, did science experiments, made crafts, bounced on a giant inflatable, and ate yummy food truck snacks. None of this could have happened without the help of so many volunteers. So if you were an adult or youth volunteer this past week at VBS, would you please stand up so that we can recognize you? None of this could have happened without the countless hours of work and dedication of two very special people. So while I continue, if Jody and Nancy would please come forward. They have met every adversity over the past two years with a drive to provide memorable experiences for our children. There are not enough thank yous in the world, but we wanted to try to show our appreciation with some time at the spa to decompress after an impressive and incredibly smooth week at VBS. Please join me in thanking Jody Bennett and Nancy Dutrow. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints who have been the chosen vessels of your grace and the lights of the world in their generations. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. And the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him being sanctified by the Holy Spirit in the fullness of time. Reconcile all things in Christ and make them new, and bring us to that heavenly country where with the blessed Virgin Mary, blessed William Alexander Gary, and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
gifts of God for the people of God.
Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. God be with you on the smooth paths. Christ be with you in the storms. The Spirit be with you at all times. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Go forth in the name of Christ. <laughs>